Hi everyone, this is Gail with Pretty Presets, and today I wanted to do a quick tutorial to show you how to create a PNG file that you can use as a graphic watermark in Lightroom. So if I go to the Lightroom menu and click on Edit Watermarks, I pull up this dialog box. And in this dialog box, I have two options. I can choose to create a text watermark, which a lot of people just use this function, or you can choose to create a graphic watermark. And in order to use the graphic watermark, I have to have a PNG file that I can overlay over my image. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in Photoshop, and then we'll come back over here to Lightroom and create a watermark using a PNG file. So let's move over to Photoshop. Here I have my logo, it's super simple, it's pretty much all text. But in order to get this as a graphic into Lightroom, I am going to need to do a couple of things first. So you can see that I have a PSD file and it's layered here. I have my regular background file and then I have several text layers and a shape layer here. So in order to make this have a transparent background, is, and that's what a PNG is. A PNG is a file where the background is transparent. And so when I overlay it on my image, I am not seeing this white box around my file. I am just seeing the text and the graphics here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to double click on my background. And by doing that, it's going to rename my background layer. And we've got to change this background layer to something else in order to delete it. And that's really what's keeping our file from being transparent. So I'm going to click OK here. And then I'm just going to come down here. I'm going to click on this little trash button while I've got that layer selected. And we're going to move it to the trash. Yes, I want to move that to the trash. So the next thing I want to do is to um, merge all of these layers together. So I am going to click on Control Shift E. And that is going to merge down all of my work basically into one layer with a transparent background. So we could stop there. If we save this as a PNG, now when I placed it on my image, it would show up exactly like this, overlaid over my image. But I think for most images, a white watermark with everything white looks the best. So this might be great for my website, but a white version of this same logo would probably be best for a Lightroom watermark. So I'm going to hold down the command or control key in while I'm hovering over my layer here and I'm going to just click on it. And basically that's going to load everything that Photoshop can see and remember it can't see this checkerboard background right here as a selection. So now I'm going to set my, I'm going to click touch the X key to switch my white to the foreground and I'm going to click Alt Delete or Alt Backspace and um, fill it with white. So perfect, there we go. Now I'm going to click Command D to deselect. And now I have my same logo, but it's all white. So we're going to save this really quickly. I'm going to just save it. And down here, instead of saving it as a PSD this time, I need to say it as a P save it as a PNG file. And it's down below the JPEG format. So I'm just going to click the PNG here, and I'm going to click Save. Click OK. Now I'm going to come over into Lightroom. And I need to come up here. This time, instead of choosing a text watermark, I am going to click on Graphic. And it's automatically going to open up a window and ask me to find where this graphic is. So I'm going to 
move over here to where I saved my previous logo. I'm going to find the white version that I created. I'm going to click choose and it's going to automatically put it down here in the corner. That's kind of what I've got set here. So using this box, we are going to adjust, um, or using what we see here, we're going to adjust the settings over here. And you really only have one box to worry about when you're doing a graphic watermark. So you're going to click on these watermark effects. This is what's going to adjust how, you, how we see our watermark. The first thing I'm going to do is reduce my opacity. I think for the most part we want the opacity down a little bit on any kind of a watermark. For proportional, this is going to change the size. Okay, so if you want it, you know, ginormous, you can go here. But I, I'm not, I don't want this huge. So maybe something there in that range. Um, now these two um, sliders over here are going to change how it's inset from the anchor point. So right now I have it set for my anchor point to be the lower left. So we can change this to be the lower right. We can change it to be the middle. We can change it to be the middle middle, or we can change it to be anywhere up here. And you may want to create a few different ones based on different images. But for right now, I'm just going to choose the bottom middle here. And that's going to only give me this vertical inset to adjust. And we are just going to raise it up from the bottom a little bit like this. So anytime I choose this watermark to add to my images, this is how it's going to appear. And I actually think maybe let's make that just a teeny bit bigger and move it down just a little bit. So just like that. The last step for creating a watermark is to save it. So I'm going to save this and give it a name. I'm just going to put my name and then I'm going to type underscore white. And click create. So now if I were to go to export this image um, and I just will click my regular export here. When I come down here to watermarking I can choose that Gale Vihar white logo and it will add it to my image as I export. So let's, yeah, I've already got this. Let's just use a unique name. And now it's going to pull up. Let's just open this in Lightroom, or sorry, excuse me, in Photoshop, so you can see what it will look like once I've done this watermark. So now you can see it's watermarked basically exactly as we saw it over there. It's got my logo down here, and instead of being just a plain text logo, I've got a graphic logo that I applied to my image to watermark. So just something a little bit different and hopefully this helps you as you try to create a watermark in Lightroom.